Greetings to all, and welcome to Sayonuta. My name is Rose Girl, and oh my gosh, you guys, it came! It came! Sayonuta finally came in the mail! I've been waiting for a week for this, and I'm excited, because Genarabochi, though terrifying, is a great writer. Seriously, go watch Madoka Magica. So good. Okay, let's do this thing, start! Plus, I got the bonus of, you know, getting all of these hentai posters. <laughs> they sent me so many hentai posters and tissues. Whoa. Well, I was just attacked with sound. Gotta remember to check everything on the computer before I start these things, you know. So yeah, anyway, seriously, I got a pack of tissues with all of my hentai stuff. Why did I get a pack of tissues? God only knows. The wriggling... Uh, I can't read this. The wriggling mass of flesh burgles. That's fantastic, wriggling mass of flesh. I'm glad that you have such a command on the English language. It's beautiful. Hmm, that's right, wriggling mass of flesh number two. I agree. Ah, you guys, you're just the best friends ever. We have the bestest table talks in the world. Grinstly. Grinstly, that is great. You Grinstly something. Ah, It thinks it's people. Three such creatures sit around the table in front of me, slurping filthy sludge from their cups. As they trade wines, growls, and sounds that I cannot describe. Yeah, I PKZB42! Totally! And you, might I just say, you have lovely eyes. Do you know that? You're beautiful. Don't believe what people tell you. They're lying. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I heard that joke the other day too. It was great. Ah, we talking money now. Well, that's serious business right there. And there's nothing cooler than serious business. Ooh, look, meat cafeteria. That is unsanitary. But look how pretty and magical it is. Thank you, Ganyarabochi. I've never been happier in my life. By listening carefully, I am able to grasp the gist of their conversation and respond when it is required of me. This is necessary to avoid arousing their suspicion. Yeah, you guys, yeah, I totally understand what you're saying. Yep, yep, yep. I'm all normal and stuff. I'm not crazy. However, these creatures may look. They are my friends, apparently. And who could ask for better friends, really, at the end of the day? I wish that I could still deny it, but I gave up on that a long time ago. Aw, don't worry me. The meaty flesh sun will rise tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that. You... Night after night, I went to sleep praying for an end to this nightmare, only to wake up each morning to the same twisted hellscape as the day before. But I'm not crazy. They're crazy. I know now that I have to blend in, that I have to act like one of them. And man, you're doing such a great job of it with your snarling look upon your face. I'm sure they don't suspect a thing. They think you're the most natural guy in the world. Such has been my life these past three months, and so it will remain until the day I die. Happy thoughts! Brenderson, have you done something with your hair? It just looks fantastic. I, I really like your eyeball. I, I don't know. You're all meaty and flesh-like and stuff, but you're so pretty. Don't believe what people tell you. You're beautiful, all of you. I have the bestest conversations. I mean, who else will have conversations that involve FMS76 in it? That's some important shit right there. Judging by its tone, 
This one must be Koji. Wow, they have different tones? I, I wouldn't have gotten that since their language is basically just a garbled mess. And the one next to him, squealing more than the others, is probably Omi. Oh, that Omi, always going off being a woman and all high-pitched and stuff. Which means that the one next to me is you. Though I can no longer see any trace of her once attractive features. What do you mean? She's beautiful no matter how she looks. She's still your friend, Sin. I try my best to ignore the raw stench of excrement that issues from her quivering flesh. Ah, there's nothing quite like waking up to the rotting stench of excrement in the morning. And quivering flesh, for that matter. Yeah! 32! Hike! Yes, we must discuss the numbers. It is important in the business world! It is so very important. What the heck are these? Are, are we staring at our friend's boobs? That kind of looks like what it is, but whatever. GDF, I know. Go die, Philip. And that's Philip with an F. I know so many Philips that name starts with F, I can't even believe it. Everything has changed, or almost everything. By some cruel trick of fate, my relationship to the world alone remains the same. As if an insane architect took the blueprints of my life and rebuilt it out of blood and gore. Huh. It's almost like I'm in some kind of visual novel or something written by some guy who wanted to write a horror novel. Weird, huh? You can blame Gen Erebochi, he is indeed an insane architect. These monster and I were a part of the same college club. Oh man, monster college club? That sounds like a great kid show. We studied together, ate together, even went skiing together every winter break. I miss skiing. I was the ski champion. Now these are but painful memories of days that will never return. Skiing! If only no one recognized me, I might be able to disconnect myself from the world. It would have been comforting, in comparison, to believe that I had been abducted by aliens, or that I had stumbled through a gateway to hell. Hell? What are you talking about? Sure, I could use a little fixing up, a little cleaning. It's a bit meaty. Might be a health hazard. But dang, you will never run out of meat for your entire life. Delicious. But no, this is beyond a doubt the city where I was born and raised. In this kind of city, born and raised. The society that I was a part of for 20 years. Save that I, and I alone, can no longer see it that way. The world as I knew it is gone. I have no place to call home. Oh, now I'm homeless too. That just sucks. Ah, back to our lovely landscape. Yes, numbers are important. It's great. At, 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 at. FM up. Great. Such compelling arguments I have never heard before. Anyway, I can tell that whatever they're talking about is of no importance to me. I decide to keep quiet while pretending to listen. Just smile and nod your head. I'm totally normal, I swear. You, you guys aren't hell abominations or anything. Ugh. But just then. I'll get to look at your beautiful face again? Hey, Fumigari. One of the flesh beasts says it swivels its bloodshot eye towards me. Got red eyes, go get clear eyes. What do you think? Well, I think that that is a great idea. Whatever it is you said. About what? I try desperately to suppress my loathing and behave normally. I don't think you're doing a very good job at it. You kind of look like you're sneering at everybody. But my horse voice ruins the attempt. Darn you, horse voice! I should have put you out to pasture long ago! Uh, we're talking about the new skate trip. You're coming too, right? Oh man, the monsters in this game. 
They capitalize and stuff like YouTube commenters. A slimy hole near the top of the creature rides nauseatingly as it vomits some semblance of words. That must be Koji's face, or what I would have. How do you know? Or what I would have seen as such three months ago. Unable to stomach the sight of it, I avert my eyes and give a neutral answer. Oh man, averting your eyes, well that's totally normal. You're doing a very good job of keeping up the normal routine. Why, if I saw you in public, I would totally think you were sane. I don't know. You are for the plans? Yes, I do. And it involves getting the hell out of this cafeteria. Not really. These were my closest companions. One of them even wished to be more. Oh man, I was making out with one of my friends. Oh, we could have been so much more. How many nights have I spent crying in loneliness, lamenting the friends who no longer exist? In three months, my tears ran dry. Well, we'll just have to dig another well then. And now there's only loathing left in me, surrounded by hideous creatures that I can only assume are Koji, Omi, and Yo. I spend each day trying to act as I always have. Uh, if I fail at this, I'll surely be sent back to the hospital. Um, dude, look at what you're saying. I think you need some hospital stuff. You crazy. Only this time, I'll be locked away forever. You might need that, mister. I mean, look at... You have eyes of which you can see? Don't you think you're going a little bit nutso in the head? No matter what, I won't let that happen. You can't take me back to the hospital! Nobody can! I'll kill you! I'll kill you with my fork! I mean, it's not like special activity could affect your injuries, right? Yes, it could, horrible hell abomination. Uh, bye. Not sure. I'll ask the doctor during my checkup. I'm totally not disgusted by you guys. I am a normal individual. Behaving as I normally would on a daily basis. Now get, get, get your meatiness out of my face. That's it. Can't look at them or bear their screeching any longer. They'll just have to die. Time to bludgeon my best friends. I jumped to my feet, desperate to escape. Oh, I'm like a bunny rabbit. Boy, you guys. Hey, for me all. Oh, yep, yep. I love you too. Bye, Kay. Thanks. A spray of stringy slime from the cilia around its voice box flies at me. Wow, its voice box is actually visible. Well, that is some good structuring on the body's part. I try to cover myself, but too late to keep the slime from splatting across my face like the yolk of a raw neck. Wop 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 wop. Oh, you cod. I'm about to lose it. I want to grab a chair, a desk, anything within reach, and use it to smash the life out of that creature, ending it all! Yes, that sounds like a great idea. If you want to blend in and sound sane and not end up at the hospital, just bludgeon people to death. That's all you need to do. I barely suppress the impulse. You're not so good at this suppression thing, are you? I mustn't let on that something is wrong. However they look to me, this is their world. I'm the outsider here. Must it make it look like something is wrong? Grit my teeth and try my hardest. Like I said, today's my checkup. I've got to go. Struggling to put on a smile, I reach into my wallet, pull out the first bill I can find, put it on the table without even looking at it. I don't care about the change. I, I just need to get out of here. Now! I don't care if I just threw my life savings on the table. I'm leaving this shit. Later! I mutter hastily and flee the cafeteria. Flee! Free from the cafeteria! They're serving meatloaf! Oh, and everything's all meaty and stuff. Just, just warning you. I'm not- <laughs> Oh my gosh, they actually made him say it! I, I'm not crazy! 
I swear I'm not crazy. I'm not. I'm not. You're crazy. All of you playing this game. Oops, apparently you are because there's your friends and they're like, what the crap is wrong with that man? Yeah, we're not so good with the whole stealth, everything's fine, smile and wave thing. Hey, says Takahata Omi. <laughs> Why don't we go somewhere we can skate for this year's ski trip? Tsukuba Yo frowns at the suggestion. Skate? How dare you? Skating is illegal, you know. Skate? But why go to a ski resort to skate? This is just simply madness. Too revolutionary. It will never work. Aha. Uh -huh. Give her a break, Sukuba. It's all she talks about these days. She keeps on blabbering. Blah, blah, blah. And it never ends. Oh my gosh. This woman, I swear. Tono Koji supports Omi with a laugh. Her impromptu suggestions are nothing new, and it's Koji's role as her boyfriend to provide backup. That's right, the only reason why you get a boyfriend is so they can provide backup for when you're storming the city gates. They're a good match for each other, Yo thinks. Sometimes it makes her jealous. Why can't I be you? I mean, she'd seriously never gone skating before I took her the other day. Look what I have to put up with! I'm her freaking boyfriend! I have to provide support! Hey, is it really that strange? Not many people start skating in their 20s, you know. Well, well to be fair, I don't really go ice skating ever since I had a traumatic experience on the ice. Moving forward. I was scared when I was little. Those shoes looked like big knives. But you picked it up just like that? That's pretty amazing, Omi. Yeah, pretty amazing. Boob lady, I agree. Uh, wait, who's talking now? Who's who's talking? It could be a girl, it could be her boyfriend. Who's talking, Omi? I mean, who's talking, you? I don't understand. It's a lot like skiing. You keep your weight forward and use the angle of the shoes to steer. Oh, okay, that was the boyfriend. It's a lot like skiing. You keep your weight forward and use the angle of the shoes to steer. Oh yeah, baby. He made it sound so easy. I figured I could give it a try. And it was fun. But... So it was a date. Yo feels a stab of envy. I can peer into Yo's head and know all that she feels. Mwahahahaha. Koji and Omi enjoy their time together, as normal lovers do. That's certainly not something that should arouse jealousy. It's just that her luck in love has been so bad. She loves Koji too. No, she doesn't. She obviously loves Crazy McCrazerson. Oh, well, I want to see Omi skate too. Yo keeps her voice upbeat, trying to cover up her internal conflict. CONFLICT! She knows that it's wrong to envy her friends. What do you mean it's wrong? I do it all the time. I'm a good person. She too would be spending time with the man she admires, if not for the terrible tragedy that befell him. Oh, David Bowie, one day you will be mine. Her bad luck doesn't begin to compare. No, no, no.